Hello, come on in. So glad you could make it. I never would have thought it would have sold this many, but a lady stopped by my booth at my last market and she bought all that I had and then called me a couple of days later and ordered 50 of these. 50 of these. I have no idea what she's doing with them, but they're just little ears of corn. They're just little ears of corn. Gotta put the keychains on them. And I've got a small start on the 50, but 50? I'm so excited to sell 50 of these. It's my biggest order ever, and I hope they do well for you. I sell these for $6 or two for 10, so obviously I'm giving them to her for the $5 each. You know, add that up, that's $250. What a great sale after the sale. Let's go write another pattern as we crochet this tutorial. Come on. For this tutorial, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, your crochet hook. I am using a four millimeter. You will need a darning needle, and I use the angled. You will need just a little bit of black accent yarn or whatever color you want to make the eyes and then this is just acrylic yarn that I separated to have a smaller strand uh, this is for the details like the eyebrows and the mouth so you'll need a little bit of that you'll need a little bit of stuffing you will also need a keychain they have a clasp so they're more like um, a backpack buddy and they just took like this and it snaps down. I like this kind of keychain. It also has the flat chain so it doesn't come apart as easily and the ring down here is a little bit tighter. So I just like this kind. And some bright yellow yarn and some green yarn. Got a little bit of yarn barf going on there. Don't you just hate that? All right, we'll start with the yellow. You might use a stitch marker if you like. My yarn, I'm using a chenille yarn that actually came from Timu because it has the color that I like. And I can't get that around here that I have been able to find. So I did get this from Timu. This is also from Timu. Uh, this yarn is not as bright as I like to have it but it looks really good on camera, so we'll just use it. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna put eight single crochet into the magic ring. To make a magic ring, I just do this and I cross it here and I hold it and then I just pick this up and loop it in to lock it. And then I straighten out this tail so that it's not crossed. And that's very important to be able to close up your magic ring. So then we're going to put eight in here. like that and then you can easily pull this tail to close up that magic ring so then I close that off and I chain one and everybody doesn't but I do that's how I do it and then we're gonna put single crochets all the way around so of course first row is only gonna be eight And I do yarn under and then over. When I get a little bit, then I can finish closing up that 
magic ring. It looks like a little bowl, and then I turn it like this. And this tail just gets in the way. So I'm going to cut it shorter. And then we're just going to do eight single crochet for the next eight rows. Each round is just eight single crochets all the way to the top to the I couldn't believe it when she asked me about this if I could make 50 of these for her I can't wait till I deliver them because I'm gonna ask her what she wanted them for I was so excited this is my biggest order ever Well, if you can see, then I just put this in here. I'm trying to do a little bit better to show you how I do it. My left hand is actually just helping me hold my work and controls my tension. And I yarn under and then over because I like the way this looks because it looks like kernels of corn. And I, I use the yarn under, yarn over most all the time just because I like the way it looks. It doesn't have to be this way and you can, however you crochet, it's just fine. This is just how I like it. Then when you get to that last stitch, I add my stuffing. And it doesn't take up very much. And a pencil or a pair of tweezers or Something like that would probably be better than my finger, but this is what I've got, so that's what I'm using. Okay, not much at all. So now, we are just going to decrease four times. And after you've decreased four times, leave a little bit of a tail so you can sew on that keychain. Trim your thread. Trim your yarn. And then I just pull this up like this. And then I pull that tight, which makes the little point at the top. 
Then grab your keychain. Push that right down there onto that. And then I put as many stitches through there to hold that as I can get my needle through. And it's usually four or five. And I do that because if you get a keychain that has a little split in that ring, I want this thick enough to hold it so that it doesn't work its way off. Okay, and when you're done with that, I just slide that right down here. Like that. Okay, so there's part of it. And now we will grab the green yarn and we're going to start the same way with making a magic ring and we're going to put eight single crochet into that magic ring remember to pull that tail up through here so that you can tighten it Eight, and then we're going to do one increase and seven single crochets. All I'm doing with that one increase is making it just a little bit bigger so that it'll go around that the bottom of that ear of corn just a little just a little bit. Okay, when you get around there and tighten that up, and I do join them, and then turn, and then we're going to chain six, and in this first chain, we're going to do two single crochets and two half double crochets and then a two double crochets okay so Then we're going to go over two and we're going to hook that in there like that. And don't worry about these because they will we'll sew those closed. Okay, and again we're going to do six chain, chain six. Two single crochet. Two double crochet, excuse me, two half double crochets, and then two double crochets. Again, we're going to pull this over, put that in the third one, slip stitch there. And now we're going to chain eight. A single crochet, a 
single crochet, a half double crochet, another half double crochet, another half double crochet. And I kind of want this to cover a little bit more of the back of the air corn. So then we're going to do a double crochet. three double crochets then we come around to this and we're going to skip our two make our slip stitch slip stitch and then we're going to chain eight again Two single crochets, three half double crochets, Then I'm going to add that right back to where we begin. The slip stitch. And then I'm going to pull the long tail so I can sew it. So I'm just going to clip it off. I don't want to clip it off too short because I don't want it to unravel. And I haven't ever had that to happen, but it doesn't need to start now. Okay, then grab your darning needle. And you have a little flower pot type thing like this. The two short sides are the front. And I just kind of push this over the end and then I stick this all the way through and I just stitch that on and there's really nothing special about this I'm just keeping this on here and I do pull up the corn shucks a little bit Okay, might want to leave a little bit longer tail. I'm gonna bring that up right through where that one was and then I'm going to tie those together and then I'm going to stuff that down inside the ear corn okay now grab your piece of yarn for your eyes and I always just kind of look to see where I want them here's my two longer ones so I want them on this side and I'm going to leave a tail over there so that I can trim that up. And you can make these as big or as tiny as you want them. I like the big eyes. So I just take this, and this is the posh yarn from Joann's. It's the black. So I'm going to go through that twice. Make the eyes a little bigger, a little more rounded. OK, 
come back out over there. And then I will take my the thin black yarn. to make my eyebrows. And I try to get them even, but if they're not, I don't worry about it too much. Because they're just so cute. No matter what expression you put on their face. And then you can put like a little frog mouth or you can put a, a smirk. I like the big smile. So I'm going to make it a bigger smile. And then I keep it in place by just a single little stitch down there at the bottom. And I come back out to the same hole. And then I tie knots in it. And then hide your tails. There you have your cute little ear of corn. So cute. Just a real easy make. Especially if you live in a farming community. They're just a lot of fun. If you like to crochet different things, have tutorials, watch market vlogs, and just sit and chat while we work on our... Please, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.